my name is Sylvia and welcome to a week in my life as a disabled college student. This morning I've just got on my Zoom class. Before that I was doing some kind of clerical things that I do every Monday. What does that entail? That means filling out my timesheets for my care attendants. It means writing checks and sending online payments to my care attendants. Currently I have employing four people um, hoping soon that that will be five that's another thing that I'm going to be doing this week is trying to hire a fifth person because I need another care attendant for one of my night shifts that's what I do every Monday morning I pay everybody and make sure that my spreadsheet of my money spending is updated I track all the money I spend not in general but all the money I spent on care just so I can know for my own records how much it costs for me to live independently um, as it is. I go home next week for Thanksgiving. It's my, it's week nine of quarter one, which means a quarter is 10 weeks long before finals. And that means that when I get back from Thanksgiving, I only have one more week of classes. The last thing I did this morning was taking, took my COVID test because it's very important. I do that every Monday on the dot. I am very hungry. I'm going to go drop off my COVID test, pick up some new COVID tests, and go get some lunch before I go to my afternoon class. Hello, um, I am done with classes for the day, luckily, and I have finally started doing some of the work that I've said I was gonna do yesterday and maybe even the day before that at least the assignment i'm doing is kind of interesting like i can't be that you know i gotta do work i'm in college so I, I can't be that upset that this is the work that i have to do in case you didn't know i am a film and media studies major something that i really figured out that i wanted to study during my gap year um while i was sitting at home weeping anyways i'm taking this film media study class and for our midterm we had to pick a sequence of our choice from one of the films we've watched this year and do a shot breakdown and then analysis of the shot breakdown that we're doing. I chose a scene from The Birds, which is a Hitchcock film. I specifically chose the scene where Melanie uh, stupidly goes upstairs, even though she's basically the hero of the film up until then, and gets attacked by the birds because she shouldn't be going up there, and she has to be saved. And that's how the movie ends, of like the man saving her, because then she's no longer the hero. Anyways, Hitchcock's a misogynist. Anyways, um, I'm doing a shot breakdown of that specific scene, which is pretty cool. And shout out to Movie Clips for having the scene for me on YouTube so I don't have to rent the birds or even worse, go to the library to watch the birds. My mood has suddenly really declined um, very rapidly. As much as I love college, like I love being here, I feel like I'm overall very happy. That doesn't mean that I don't get sad. I just think it's important that I recognize the fact that like this is a week in my life and right now I'm just feeling really down and I don't want to pretend that that's not happening. And you know, sometimes I'm lonely and sometimes I'm sad and sometimes I feel like people are getting experiences and doing things that I feel really envious of. You know, I feel like you can feel really happy for your friends and also just sad because sometimes you want what they have. Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Let me do what I do best. Slow down, let me talk to you. Don't tell me about your worries. I ain't staying till the afternoon. I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth. I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you. But who do I call if it ain't you? Good girl, tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Who do I call if it ain't you? Hello, I am running quite a bit late, but that's okay. Wait, this is bad lighting. That's... The lighting in here is so troublesome. Look how cute my outfit is. Uh, maybe it doesn't actually. I'm just wearing this kind of oversized. 
uh, multicolored like pink and blue sweater. And then I'm wearing my beret, but the best thing about this beret is that it has flowers on them. I need help. I've spent the last too long, I don't even know, on TikTok. I need to get some work done now. I've had some coffee, even though it's 4.30 in the afternoon and maybe that wasn't the best idea, but, you know, do now, regret later and such. Oh my God, I just don't want to do this. But I guess I have to. <laughs> but do I? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, have fun watching me work. Hello. Let's pretend I didn't do that. Hi. I swear that I usually do more work than this. There's something about week nine and like going home next week. I just can't make myself do any work. And, oh, Davey, is that you? Oh my God, Davey's here. Hi. I'm filming. You are? Davey, come say hi if you want to. That's not, yeah, no. only if you want to. I'm not trying to pressure anybody. Davey, meet my, the internet. I'm going through multiple crises. Oh no, wait, <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait. Davy, Davy's made a list of the crises that she's going through currently. Please share. Okay, well I've had two midterms this week, right? That's disgusting. I got pulled out of my thing this morning, and then also the other thing is like, Asian women being seen as submissive and docile, me being treated as like a trophy wife, that's another thing. And then like how hippie culture is like <laughs> cultural appropriation maybe, and like- Wait, wait, I'm not and, laughing at you. I'm just like I trying know. to follow your thoughts. I know, and like, am I playing into that? And like, what about my own super unique awesome culture? Okay, we will, we will work on these today. <laughs> We're gonna need a drink though, this is too much. I'm you, I need a drink. <laughs> Hello, I'm very sleepy, but it is Friday, which means I'm going home. Freshman year, when Thanksgiving came, I was like desperate. I was like, oh my God, I need to be home this instant. And now I'm excited, but it's really nice that I don't really feel like that desperation of returning home, which is great because that means that I like being at school. Being here also feels like home, like they both feel like home in some ways. This might be like the end of my week at school. I'm glad you got to see a little bit of my life, you know? It's, it's like boring, but like boring in like a really comfortable way. I like my routine, so it's good. It's a good boring, it's a good, like no news is good news in the sense. I feel like college, a lot of it is just kind of like going through the motions. It's not all, parties and crazy nights out, which I did do a little bit of that this week, but I don't think I shared that with you because that's a side of myself that I'm gonna save for off the internet. I had I had a fun week and I'm glad that I got to share it with you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me this week. I hope that you're doing well and that you're taking good care of yourself because you deserve to be treated with kindness from yourself too and from others, but you're tough too.